Guys, it's all over. It's been a real roller coaster ride being the Thiago fan during his time at Liverpool. His constant injuries were so frustrating, but you could never be mad or give up on him because whenever he stepped back onto the pitch, he would always be the best player. Even this season alone, it's been a ride. Back in August, Klopp said that Thiago would be back in training soon, but then he just disappeared for a while. Thiago posted a picture of him at Liverpool's training centre in December, but again, he did not return. There were then people saying that he would return in January, but again, nothing. Then on February 2nd, Liverpool's Twitter account released content of Thiago in training, which sent Liverpool Twitter into a frenzy. Then just two days later, on the 4th of February, rumours began to circulate on Twitter that Thiago would finally return to Liverpool's matchday squad against Arsenal after his last appearance being on the 24th of April 2023, which was 9 months ago or 284 days ago. And Thiago finally returned to the pitch in the 85th minute where Liverpool were losing 2-1 to Arsenal. And I'm not going to lie, even though that was arguably Liverpool's worst performance of the season, I was over the moon just to see my boy Thiago back playing football again. And even after Trossard scored to make it 3-1, I was still content because I had already accepted that we were going to lose, but we were still top of the league, and at least now we had our Spanish maestro back. You can't be serious. I can't lie, when I saw this news on Friday morning, I put my phone straight back down on my desk and went back to sleep. I'm an optimistic guy, and I've been thinking all season, hey, Liverpool are top of the league and are all fighting in all cup competitions, and we aren't even at our strongest. Watching De Bruyne come back for City after he was injured, getting an assist against Huddersfield after 17 minutes, and then the week later, coming off the bench to win City the game against Newcastle, I thought, hey, Thiago will have the same impact for Liverpool, but nope, my dream was shattered in less than a week. I even convinced myself that Thiago would help us win the Premier League and be rewarded with a new contract and be reunited with Alonso next season when he becomes the next Liverpool manager. I've been really happy with Liverpool's midfield this season. The new signings have all played a role in getting the club to where they are right now, and others like Jones and Elliot have really stepped up, but it feels like we can never have them all available at the same time. I mean, Bajicic has basically been unavailable all season, McAllister was out for a period when Endo secured his spot on the team, and when McAllister came back, Endo had to leave for the Asian Cup. And just a few days ago, Thiago came back, but Sabalslai picked up an injury, and now Thiago is out again, so it feels like we can never win. Now the hours preceding the announcement, there were some conflicting reports because some journalists were saying that Thiago might have played his last game for the club, implying that the injury was serious, whilst Klopp a few hours later said that he expects Thiago to be available again this season, so I don't even know what to believe at this point. Even as Thiago's biggest supporter, I think it's time to accept that it's never going to happen again and his body is just breaking down. With his contract coming up this summer and there are absolutely no signs of a renewal, it's just a really sad way to go out for one of the best players I've seen play for Liverpool. But he has undoubtedly provided us with some unbelievable memories. For example, the season when Liverpool nearly won the quadruple, Thiago was key to that team. And his performances against Man City in the FA Cup semi-final and the 4-0 against Man United just days later were magical. And of course, his strike against Porto in the Champions League is one of the best I've ever seen. And that signature Thiago Tierney always does, it never gets old. Last season was really tough for Liverpool Football Club. The midfield was the biggest issue and the warning signs had been there for a while. So when the club refused to bring in any midfielders that summer, apart from a loan deal for Arthur, they were really playing with fire. And that would of course come back to bite them, with the likes of Henderson and Fabinho not being anywhere near the levels to previous seasons. Then you had players like Thiago, Keita and Oxlade Chamberlain constantly injured which was far from ideal. The only time that Liverpool midfield looked competent was either when Keita or Thiago was fit and also during the last few months of the season when Trent started to drift into midfield. This meant that when Thiago was fit he had to work twice as hard to compensate for the lack of quality of his peers and this may have worn his body out even faster. I am a Thiago enthusiast and believe that when everyone's fit, he is still Liverpool's best midfielder. But I think it's finally time to accept that his time at the club is probably over and in the summer, there's a 99% chance that he'll be leaving on a free.